Let's take a look at the interface. Motion has two different types of palettes here. You have a utility palette which contains your file browser, your library, your inspector, and if you go into each of these you'll find that there are existing elements that you can use here in the inspector. There are some subcategories like properties, behaviors, filters, and objects. And if you have the media selected, you'll also have a media tab inside of the inspector. And then you have your canvas area. This is where you actually do the bulk of the work. Now, these aren't the only windows. There are other elements here, like project, which gives you a layer view, a media tab, which allows you to see the media that's being used and select it for inspection, and, of course, an audio tab. In addition to project, you have timing, and that gives you an overview over item over time as well as access to the keyframe editor and an audio editor where you could do some basic mixing. Let's close that. I'm going to be bringing these things up and hiding them by doing a gesture. If I draw this N looking like character, let me draw it on white so you can see it, that will bring and hide my timing element. If I draw Z, that will show me my project view. Just a few of the basic gestures. You'll see more. If I draw something up like that, you'll see this little dashboard, which is kind of disappearing there. There's nothing in there yet, but I'll talk about that when that comes up. Let's start by creating a basic menu that we're going to use inside of DVD Studio Pro. I'm going to go to the file browser, and you could simply click on Apple One to get to the file browser, or click on that. Let's navigate to our source directory for Project One. Click on Desktop, choose the Project Files folder, Part One, and go into Source. You'll find the miscellaneous folder here. Navigate into there. And just grab the menu background and drop it anywhere you'd like. We're going to use a segment of our menu background here, which is actually HDV footage. We're not going to use the whole thing. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If I want to zoom out using a gesture, I can just draw a circle counterclockwise and keep zooming out. You can see that. That's the actual size of our HD footage, and we're just going to be using a small segment of that. 